Alright, I am finally getting to the cabin for the first time in a while. Um, and also, finally able to put a video out. It's been uh, quite a while since I made one of these, but um, I'm just heading up to the cabin tonight. I have to cut the lawn and then start the food plot, food plot preparation with um, some spraying. So, I gotta uh, spray the weed killer on all of my food plots and then mow the grass and just make sure everything's on the up and up at the cabin. So unfortunately my um, wife and son and daughter were not able to come along tonight. This didn't work out so I'm on a solo trip with just me and the dog. Um, I'm coming up on my favorite trout stream here pretty quick so on the way there I'm going to stop real quick see if I can't catch a trout or two to catch over the fire tonight. Um, and then I'm going to get to work at the cabin, so just thought I'd throw a little video together, keep you guys updated on some of the stuff I'm doing this summer, um, and hopefully I'll be able to put some more videos out soon, so hopefully I'll be able to get everything done tonight. Alright, mission catch dinner accomplished. I stopped and fished for about 10 minutes, caught a nice little trout. So now I'm going to head into the cabin, start a fire, um, get the dog out, run her a little bit, and then uh, get to work while I uh, cook my dinner. Alright, made it into the cabin. This grass is awful. This is our lawn, and it looks like a meadow. So I am going to get this cabin opened up, get a fire going so I have some clothes to cook that trout, and then... Um, Take the dog for a run and then get to work. So that's a plan. Clean this real quick. Nice, clean, gutted trout. Well, looks like I won't be doing half the work I thought I was doing tonight. I opened the shed expecting to find the four-wheeler about to go for a ride and then start spraying. I found this. Much to my surprise, my dad must have taken the four-wheeler home last time he came up here. So. Looks like all I'll be doing is mowing the lawn and cooking trout for dinner. I'm going to show my favorite way to cook fresh trout uh, over the fire. The super simple way for if you're camping or at a cabin and don't have all the you know, cooking essentials that you would at home. I am going to take just a little bit of oil here and put it on my foil. So with my foil I like to create almost like a little bit of a boat that has some edges so like the, the juices when I'm when I put lemon in there will um, kind of stay trapped and bake around the fish. So I'm going to put my fish right on there, just a little bit of oil on the fish then. Rub that all in there and then my favorite wild game blend ever is Johnny Hunter's blend. That is way really too much, but that's all right. Put a little on the inside. Got rubbed around now. I'm gonna take a piece of lemon put it right inside of that cavity of the trout 
and I am going to squeeze this juice all on there so that that fish just cooks in there. Um, so I got one piece of lemon inside the cavity of the trout and then another piece that's kind of just chilling. I'm sure Harley's going to go try to fetch this. Alright, now I'm going to put this little tin foil boat on my rack. You can just wrap it up in tin foil and throw it right in the coals, but I got a little bit of a fire still going, so I'm going to lower my rack. to be hard to keep my hand above the fire for more than three seconds. That should be about right. Now we're going to let that cook for a while, keep on doing some work, and uh, come back when it's done. Alrighty, so this fish is done. You can tell the fish is starting to curl up a little bit. And this skin is just gonna... But you can eat that skin with right on there if you want. I prefer not to. So it just peels right off. And this meat... Oh, it's good. It just comes right off the rib cage. And this meat just pulls right off of the... I could pull the skeleton right out of there. Oh, that's nice, delicious meat. That skeleton just pulls out clean. A couple bones that stayed in, but... That's why I love catching trout. Super simple. Super easy to cook, fun fish to catch, beautiful fish. To me, there is no better summer or spring cabin meal. All right, I got the front lawn, front lawn mode, all the trails mode. Um, had a delicious dinner. Um, unfortunately, there will be no spraying done tonight. I uh, had every intention of coming up here, getting the lawn mowed, and spraying all of our uh, fields and food for food plots. There's probably about seven or eight acres total of spraying that I would have had to do. And that's kind of disappointing because I missed communication with my dad, but um, at the end of the day, it's actually not that big of a deal because I would have been on quite a time crunch to get it done, and when you're rushing to get things done, uh, you tend to not do them right. So. It was just great to get up to the cabin finally. Um, check things out. The fields actually look pretty good. Um, everything looks looks great other than the lawn, which is now mowed. Um, so now that i got a little bit of extra time, I'm going to hit a couple streams on the way home and try to catch a couple more trout, um, either to release or if I get a couple decent ones, I'll bring them home um, to cook for my wife or have for dinner tomorrow. So, yeah, so it was a great little trip, um, and I'm excited to start... Uh, bring in some more videos out. It's been quite a while, so hopefully I will be able to have a little bit more consistent content this summer from um, a video aspect.